what we gotta do, man. Um, you can this one right here. Yeah, it's gotta come out. Yeah, I was doing it spinning. Yeah, we do. Oh, you put it in the vise. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah, put it in the vise. Put that Montec cast what I was just doing. Lock that plug into it. Or if I were it wouldn't swivel. What's happening is turning on itself. It just will not catch to unlock them two. So even when I took it off, when I went to do the chisel, it actually broke that loose. It was just allowing that to spin on itself. So, we had trouble with that particular one last time. Grabbing, did you grab it like this? Yeah. yeah. All the and it's just because I just stand that. The plug up in there and locked it down. Okay. Plug. I just put that, the damn that back here on there like that, or did we put that on there? Oh, that's back. Oh, is it? I wonder why yeah, they got, got it like that like far. That. I know that machine's got a bunch of them on it. I wonder why. I don't know. Some of the pots are the right size, I guess. Which hose thing. was the short one busted in? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, we're gonna sling it back on right quick. We're running good. We need to keep rolling. Yeah, we need to keep rolling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, need to keep rolling. <laughs> that over he's going up right there. Yeah, I lost it while we did with it. Yeah. Man, I ain't gonna yeah, stick another one in it. That's yeah, gonna be inch and five eighths right there. That other one. Anyway. There you go. Somewhere else, I just put my phone down. I think I heard y'all think yeah, it's gonna be where I was I'm sure that's the one who always responds back on every one of those texts. I think about that. No, he ain't responded back yet. So, Westervelt will not take any more of those today. Send them to Belk instead. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> that thing start dropping like flies, boy. It get to be Thursday and Friday. Hey, now this is this is that one that flows so hard. Oh no, really? Yeah. You got it. You ain't got. It. You want to pull a vacuum on the tank? Or you just want to just do it real quick. Oh, we just try to do it. All right. All right. That's right. That's right. All right. Yeehaw, boys and girls. All this right, is. We need to replace that over rain too. Put that, put that end on first and get it tightened down. Yeah, you see how. Then we'll snatch yeah, this end we'll off. Get that yeah. Yeah, hold this. this is the adapter going on that end right there. Yeah, it goes on the other end. What does it do? Is it just tuck right back up here underneath them other yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. Just a mess of mayhem I got going on. Yeah. Ain't nothing unusual. John Deere ring on the tire cam. <laughs> 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 Already running John Deere. Uh, huh. John Deere. Uh, hey, uh, that goes up here. You got to put that on the hose. May we'll put that in on the hose you got in your hand right there. Yes. And go ahead and get it tied now. Yes. Because we got to screw two of them, we're going to dump that tank. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get them on there. 
at that over here too. Or is that the one you just? Those right, right there suck. That is that. That's right there. Ain't cool. No, oh, because we're gonna tighten up that adapter first in order to get the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to put that thing back in the vise and put that put that plug in there to lock that thing down to tighten that son of a gun down. And then I'll lock it, lock it right there, and then and then. Now you're not gonna be able. This is gonna have to go on last because if you try to tighten that, what you're gonna do is just like when I try to take it off, it's gonna it. twist yeah, the whole okay. thing. That's gotta jam up first. All right. Yeah, that right there. Well, grab a plug to go in the end of that line. Then Need a, plug it and here grab a pry ball and you might can stick it up in there and bow that up just a little bit give me a little extra we need, we need to replace let, let, let tim stick up in there and pry that top one up just a little bit to give me a little bit extra well, oh, hold on there give me sabi it is bowed up just a little bit there. you still got plenty of you come on oh yeah no Ready? hold on just a second hold on that, that o-ring really needs to replace oh no really it's, it's you got it's one? Yeah, I got one right here. All right. I'll stick her in there right quick. I'll have to clean that yeah. up. Right. Yep. Hell, that thing got a suction on it. <laughs> yeah, I know. That'd, be, that'd suck right there now. How hot is it, kid? It's not. It's not? Okay. So somebody asked the other day about shirts, how we kept them so clean, Derek, because he said we we get nasty and they stay so clean. Hey, we throw them away, time. right? We go through we go through a lot of clothing. It seems like every time you wear a new shirt, you're gonna have to test things. Well, look, quit wearing new shirts, man. <laughs> Now that o ring ain't wanting to fit, is it? Nope. Son of a gun. You ain't got no glove caught up in, dude. I don't know. Just pull, pull your thing back out, man. Let's pull it. Let's pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> so far, we failed on this project. All three of us have been squirted with oil. Dad ain't got no oil because he's under. Oh, yeah. I agree. Worthless. Up. Kevin got oil. I got oil all over my phone. So what we're going to do now is Kevin brought his service truck over here because we're going to use a compressor because Derry's compressor's dead on that truck. And we're going to pull a vacuum on this oil tank. Derry's cooking it up right there right now. Any kind of vacuum pump will work. We'll pull a vacuum on this tank and it'll help hold that oil back a little bit. Or we can get the O-ring in the fitting. Oh yeah, I smell it all the way over here. <coughs> He's low on air. There's a reason he's called worthless. Y'all see. Stuff like this sucks. Sucks. For that to have that much flow coming out of the tank, even with the pressure off of it, off the tank, the machine's not running, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, have to fight something like that. You don't need one in the sound line. Yeah. And I understand that, but then it goes down, it adapts down to a three quarter. That's well, right. Why you it, one, I one, know one inch all the way right there, and then it drops down to a three quarter. And what Derek just said, why couldn't they have a valve back there on it where you could shut that oil off back there to keep that from happening? Either one of those two lines, you have to change yep. them. You cannot get the oil to stop. And the dead gun thing about it is that they never bust while it's while it's just sitting here. It busts after it's been running five, six hours. And the oil's 180 degrees. Now watch this different valve in the back. All right. 
So we got the vacuum running on it now. I got squirted. I was standing 10 foot from it while ago and got squirted. Still bad. back on it and blow it back out. All right. <laughs> right now. There we go. Now you need to make sure that over in there. It's going to be in there. Should be. Why is it such a problem that made it so handy? I don't know, I was looking at a caterpillar, oh. Oh, like a 522 man, and their junk comes down on the left side of the boom into a cluster. It peels off at the knuckle. I know that's a disaster. See what happens is they, they got this thing of one inch to right here and then they put this adapter right there to adapt it down to three quarters. It don't make it don't really make any sense. If they were gonna do that, they could have they could have either if they were gonna run that floater right there and get into a three quarter, I, I don't really understand that, but they could have adapted that thing right there with a different fitting on it. See all these, that one's like it too. Makes it really aggravating for us out here in the field, filling with these things. That better. Yeah, I do too. Tighten that joker down right there. All right. Snug her all up. I wonder if they actually have a design at the factory. They just. Hey man, give me a mighty mo. We're just gonna put a line on and let's go. They got a tool truck that comes by that has a whole load of those adapter fittings on it, and he's selling a lot of them. That's what happened. <laughs> it's simpler for them to throw that adapter in there at the factory and let us have to deal with it because they only do it one time than it is to fix it the right yeah. way. We tightened this long ago. 
Uh, no. no. That's what's you wrong. tighten that up, you'll be done. Then, then you, if you get out of one, we'll get the crows cut on each day, we'll bump both up because I got that easy. There you go. All right. So as you can see, it is very, very easy to get frustrated with that stuff, with the machines and the things that we have to deal with day to day. Of course, it's hot right now still, too. We're still running up in the low 90s right now, temperature-wise. Bugs are pretty bad. Gnats, stuff like that, eat you up while you're out there doing that stuff. And then you're dealing with 180-degree oil. That's no fun, either. But I know that I'm going to get questioned on that oil and it hitting the ground and stuff like that. And so here's the deal on oil. We don't even have to report a spill unless it's 25 gallons or more at all. It's just a non-issue. A non I know in some places, some countries, different things. It's very different than what it is right here. But in Mississippi and Alabama, we don't even have to report it unless it's 25 gallons or more. That wasn't even close to 25 gallons. Uh, the reservoirs, a lot of them on these machines don't even hold 25 gallons of oil. But so before anybody starts jumping up and down and, and all that, I'm sure I'll get some comments. I get they get they get bad enough in the comments, man. I smoke them. I delete the heck out of them. I delete three or four a day every day pretty much out of the comments that I get so it's just a normal thing I don't respond back or anything just uh, smoke them and they go on in the la la land and that's about it but just part of the struggle Kevin Derek and I all three of us took an oil bath today also on that that's never fun either wearing that stuff all day long but I hope y'all enjoyed that as I allow y'all in to kind of see some of those struggles like that that, uh, that we deal with. And uh, just one of those things. So we'll catch y'all later. Well, over what this cotton top said, the other videos. But it appears that someone's. Later, Peters.